Hi, I'm Ryan Miley, leader of the NDP. In my last video, I, I talked to you about masks and showed how to make one with a bandana or a handkerchief along with a piece of paper towel and some elastic bands. Really simple, easy way to make a mask. There are some other ways, and I'm gonna show you how to make a mask with a t-shirt and also how to make one with a sock. Really simple stuff that you got at home. What I want to emphasize as I do that is that we are encouraging people to use cloth masks, but not to be using masks that are meant for healthcare workers. You're going out, uh, you want to be covering your face to protect yourself and others, but you don't want to be taking a mask away from somebody who is working in healthcare who is at high risk. And always a reminder that this is an addition to, not a replacement for the measures we need to take, physical distancing, not shaking hands, all of those important things. Okay, in our last video we showed you a simpler way of making a mask. This is a little bit more elaborate, but perhaps a little bit more long-lasting. Uh, what we're using here is an old t-shirt. I've got my sets for supper t-shirt, a volleyball, a charity volleyball event in Moose Jaw. Last year, I'm sure the organizers wouldn't mind. And I've sketched a little pattern here, basically just a loop on each arm that goes just past the inner seam, and then a line that goes just below the armpits. So you've got that pattern sketched out, got a safety pin and paper towel. So first thing is scissors. So we're gonna cut across the chest. That gives you the mask that's the right length, and then we're going to cut into the arms to get the ties that'll tie it behind our heads. So just a reminder that the key principles of this are you want a piece of cotton cloth and you want paper towel in the middle of it. That'll help reduce the ability of the virus to get through. And you also want to remember that this is, in addition to, not in replacement of the other important physical distancing measures we're all taking. Staying at home when we are out in public, keeping our distance from other folks, not gathering in large groups, not shaking hands, that kind of thing. So there you go. Takes just a few seconds to cut through. The one little addition here is uh, you can add your piece of paper towel in the middle, close it back up, and here's where the uh, safety pin comes in handy. Just use that at the bottom. That helps prevent that piece of paper towel from coming out. And there you go, got a mask ready to go. A really simple version of the mask I jokingly call the Justin Trudeau because all you need is one fancy dress sock, piece of paper towel, and a safety pin. And what you do is you uh, slide that paper towel in, and then you can just use the, uh, the sock as a face mask and pin it behind your back of your head with the safety pin. Okay, so here's that mask made from a t-shirt. You attach it like this, just tying behind your head and as well behind the back of your neck. You tie that up and there you go. You're, you've got good coverage of your mouth and nose. You wanna adjust it to, to look right and feel right. You might wanna pick a, a nice colorful t-shirt, uh, but it's a really simple mask ready to use with materials you've got at home. And of course, important when you do uh, get back home and you take it off, you're gonna not wanna touch the front because that's when the, where the virus could accumulate. You take it off from behind, touching the back, and take out the paper towel and wash it in soap and water. That's gonna kill the virus. That's what you need to uh, kill the virus on clothes just like it is on your hands. And you always want to, anytime you take a mask off, you're gonna wanna wash your hands right away again. And we'll show you one other kind of mask. This is the really simple one. Just a, a clean uh, dress sock, maybe one of those lone socks that has no partner anymore. 
Got the safety pin attached. Around behind your head. There you go. Adjust the heel over your chin, cover up your mouth and nose, and there you've got a, a nice looking mask that's uh, got the piece of paper towel in it, helps protect you, and same thing. Once you're done, once you're back home, take it off touching the back and sides, not the front, wash it right away, wash your hands. And these masks, uh, just like the one that you can make with a bandana or handkerchief, or the fancier patterns that you might get online. These are a way that you can be able to help protect yourself when you do have to go out in public. And the things to remember, these are meant to make sure that we don't have members of the general public taking masks that should be used uh, by healthcare workers, but also uh, that this is an addition to those physical distancing measures, not shaking hands, uh, staying six feet away from people, staying home every chance you get. So thanks very much for watching and please share this with others. One of the things that can really happen during this time as we're having to isolate is that we can feel isolated. We can feel lonely. Sharing the tips of how you're managing and how you're dealing with things is a way to stay connected with people at a time when we're having to stay apart. So thanks so much. Stay safe. Have a great day.